So realistically, having the strong foundation, understanding you need to build a personal relationship, that's what's going to help you to survive. So Tony, let's start with you. Why do you want to be a dispatcher, Tony? Um, because I can control my day. Okay, one reason. You can yeah, work I mean, that's, that's the main reason. Um, that's the main reason. The reason why I chose dispatching, though, um, I wanted to be a driver. <laughs> I think I told you this. I wanted to be a driver um, when my son was in high school. He was getting ready to graduate. And so I got my license, and then I got pregnant. So no driving for me. Um, I still wanted to be in logistics, though. Um, so I'm coming, I guess, full circle now. I like dispatching, though, because I like making the calls. I like making the deals. Of, you know, am I going to get it? Am I not going to get it? That aspect of it. What is um, your background, previous background? What did you do before? I'm a programmer. Okay. So working with, like, uh, power that all of this is easy for you, right? Signing it so and you and you're not afraid of phone calls because I can see your communication skills are good. You're not afraid of phone calls. So you like the drive of dispatching, right? So probably yeah. programmer is a little bit like well, that boring, right? It's good, but boring. Well, it's nice. I love it. I love doing that too. And I'll probably incorporate some of that into this um to make um some of the processes a little bit more automated. Um, so I don't have to think about it so much. Why did you choose me and how did you find me? Um, I found you on YouTube and I was, I figured YouTube uh, has everything. So I just started looking up dispatching and I saw several people out there with classes and things like that. But um, I like you because um, your videos were longer. Like you had like hour long videos that explained tons of things. I mean, like there's a subject or some, some concept and then you would talk about it for about an hour. And all of your videos were like that. And um, um, I also like that you posted the, uh, which this 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 particular session alone was worth the price of, of admission. Um, the fact that you can get in here and make real phone calls to real brokers and try to, um, you know, try 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 to um, talk to them about these loads. That's not something you get everywhere. You get, you know, videos and, you know, paper documents and things. You had all that and then this. And then you had in-person calls, uh, in-person classes where we can actually talk to you face-to-face. -face. Um, I have not made any personal connections with anybody in the classes, but um, I would like to. So if anybody is on those forums, uh, on her forums and you want to reach out, please do, because this will be fun. Um, but... You're not pushy, Alex. You're passionate. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. So would you recommend my class after today? Because today was a lot of stress because we have to. We have a lot of phone calls to make. So today, actually today, finally, do you understand how it's going to go? Yes. Well, this patching is stressful. Making the calls is stressful. Um, you're going to have to go through this. If you're going to be, you know, a dispatcher seriously, you're going to have to go through this anyway. Um, it's better to go through it when you have someone on the line who can kind of help guide you through the calls. Hey, ask for this. Don't forget to ask for that. Um, otherwise, you're going to wash out if you just try to try to do this without that guidance. Okay. So thank you, Tony, for choosing us and actually being a good student. I do appreciate that being in class, taking, answering the phone calls, because that's what it takes. I mean, uh, not, not even answering in the class. I would pick on you, you would answer. So you were uh, finishing homeworks because I give you as much as I could, but it's still your effort. But as you said, you have, it's not, it's my passion because I just want to change trucking. And of course, I want to give you so much. You know, I wish I can just transfer my brains and all my mistakes I did. And I try as much as possible. That's why our classes are so long. But all of you have a strong foundation. So thank you. Let's go to Ilona, baby Ilona. Baby Ilona is was under the pressure today. Yes. <laughs> phone call. So how does it feel today, Ilona? Great. I love it. <laughs> you love it? Yeah. So what do you think you need to improve for you? Yeah, I need to, I'm a little slow. Like when I think I need to, 
do it ahead of time for myself you know <laughs> like get everything prepared like actually so I'd be like you know to it's the gonna point. come with experience so you're not slow just yeah. something new it's multitasking so that's why for you making sure two screens right two screens yeah. Some things are wrote down, something maybe print out until you get used to this. You, you great, as I told you before, because again, English is not our first language. We need to cut that. Like, for example, Tony and Keisha, well, they can start talking about weather because they are born here. For yeah. us, they hear our accent. So unfortunately, we have to understand. Is it fair? No, it's not fair. But we need to get to the point. Calling about post, then... When you get to the point, then you can start talking about other stuff. So it's not you. It's just the way it's, it's getting here, right? I, yeah, I always I get like I say, oh, my God, she has acts and this and this. Well, I speak six languages. So excuse me. Having an really? Accent, having an accent. Yes, I do. Because I am translator. I used to be, guys, why do I teach? And I maybe you guys did not hear this. I should make the video. I am actually the teacher of literature. So that's why I love teaching. So I used to teach wow. the literature and poems and I write, I have few, I have few books published. So that's why I love teaching. Of course, tracking is not poetry, but I try to make it poetry. So that's why, Ilona, you just have to get used to it. When you get confidence, then you can do it. And again, right now is a tough market. You did great. You're a great student. And every time I ask you, you did everything, you can do it for sure. I know no matter what, right? Just a little bit faster and it's going to come. Very yeah. proud. So would you recommend you. my class? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, hopefully I'll see you in mentorship because we add in mentorship for sure in March for sure. So maybe a few more months of mentorship just to keep getting there. But thank you so much. Thank Keisha. You. Thank you, honey. Keisha, why dispatching? I see that you want to fly to the moon. Why dispatching? Don't you want to be an astronaut? I see your cute background there. Um, I worked in a corporate world for so long, kind of managing people, 200 people, leadership people, men and women. So for me, um, I wanted to start making my own money, not be on their schedule, but my own schedule and making my own money. So I got my realtor's license and then um, I knew a couple people getting into dispatching, but they were driving trucks. And my, my cousin actually um, really convinced me. So when talking to him, I was like, I can do that. I'm very, I keep people well organized as part of my job. So why not do that for other people, service them? Because that's what I do, but make them feel like family. That's my personal touch to it. So and that's what I got into dispatching for. So why would you choose me? You in corporate America, you probably could have, could have simply just Google that shit. You how you I did that. a lot of Googling. I took a previous class that frustrated me um, and paid money for it. And then I found another gentleman who actually recommended you. And um, I started watching your YouTubes and your TikToks. And I like the fact, just kind of like what Tony said, I love this today. And I honestly wish we could do like another day of this. Um, but right, I might because I see that some people struggle. I might, but I need a break at least for four or six days to kind of get back to the energy. <laughs> I will throw that probably one day, but it's going to be some stipulation. I want to see that commodities done for ever since. So only people who finish those commodities are going to be entered to that session. I will do that because I am a giver but for people who also put the effort. So Keisha, you know how to organize people. You have leadership. So this is something different. From beginning of the class till now, did you switch the way you were thinking about trucking industry? Because communication skills are there. Organizing us there, right? Talking to the phone is there. But do you think that now finally you have enough knowledge not to put people out of business? Um. I feel like there's still a lot for me to learn just because I did struggle through this class. It was, it was, there was a lot going on. It was a little overwhelming for me at one point. Um, but I, once I got there, I connected and the more I watched your videos because I didn't have time to watch all those videos, but the more I was able to watch things would connect the more I read some of the materials, it would connect. And so for that, I'm grateful to have all the documents 
so I can go back and look at it. And um, like I said, this live class was everything. So um, for me, at first I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but especially after today, I do feel like I'm very confident I can do this. Of course, I still need some greasing up and some oiling, but I'm confident that I'll do well. And that's why, Keisha, I sent a lot of stuff. And I can tell you guys, you're not done today. Actually, you're done, but you're starting all over. I want you to go organize everything, reread, start, keep rewatching because whoever said my, my videos are very explanatory, just refresh, because finally today you understand why is she pushing me to know this, this, and this, right? So today you go back, spend another two, three weeks, and only then start reaching out to carriers because you're not ready yet. Today, open your eyes finally, go back, rain first, but very pleased. And I'm very glad that you decide to call because come on, you've been managing all these people and you did great. It's just because, you know, today, and remember guys, we're working with three challenges territories, that or Arizona, Oregon, and brand new Omaha carrier. So this was very challenging, but this was also very beneficial for you to see the reality of trucking, right? Yes, good job. Thank you so much. Katie, I'm Katie, where are you from? What is your background? I'm from Haiti. Haiti, okay. Yes. So what do you do now? What is your, what, what, what kind of type of uh, job did you do before this? Or what uh, are you I'm still a nursing assistant and I, I, I was working at the hospital until 2020 when COVID happened and I was working on a floor um, they call med surge. Where so for you, it's totally different medical field and now logistics, mm -hmm. it is challenging. So they were giving you a big efforts here, changing from medical <laughs> field to this is different. So I mean, also from the background, you English, sometimes, you know, you have to pay attention more. Well, yes. Good starting so what do you need to improve katie after today what do you really need to improve what do you think okay i have um okay my issue is um how you manage to um do the map thing and do the uh, rate per miles and time the total miles and all that and that's that's the only way I have. So here, what I want you to say, I know you don't have time, but if you ever want to become a dispatcher, you're going to take half hour of the day. You have your own load board, Katie, so no excuse for you. You're going to post whatever you post. You're going to start preparing the map. Look at the miles. Remember the rules for hours of service, right? So you're going to start practicing that. Okay, if the load 500 something 50, this is a one day transit. So if I pick up, it's gonna be next day. If this is longer than six something, it's gonna be two day. It depends when I pick up, right? You're gonna do the quick rate search. You have the load board, so you can post, find the best paying load, for example, or the load which has a price. Put on a map. If you know that it's one day transit, post from the city where you're gonna deliver, find again, how much they're paying and start calculating. So if they pay 11 and this pay 12, this is my total miles, what would be rate per mile? Go to thread lines and see, does it make sense or not? Who do I have to push? So for you, this is just a matter, doing it as homework at least for the next two, three weeks, but every day, because you need to get comfortable with where you're delivering, what is the deadhead, how long is it gonna take? And unfortunately, I cannot do that for you. You need to do it. That's why, again, guys, I will take one week break. I will add that one extra day for people who will finish those zones and everything else. So, Katie, you have one chance to come back and call. But no more. I don't know what I'm doing. I want you to spend the next 10 days, practice that map, right? It's possible. It's just the logic. It's skills. So I'm very proud. You were studying. You were doing good. We just need to polish those skills. Okay, Katie? Okay, thank you. So thank you. would you recommend the pushy Alex? Oh, highly. I love you very much. I love <laughs> you too. 